So another three minute mastery from module one energy fundamentals. Here we're going to take a more advanced look at converting between energy units. So what if we wanted to convert the energy in a Snickers bar into the energy of motion of a tennis ball? How fast do you suppose we could make that tennis ball move if we were able to use all of the energy in the Snickers bar? So we would start with a Snickers bar, right? And uh, we wouldn't have a potential energy, but there is some food calorie, right? The kilo calorie. We could then convert that to the kinetic energy of a tennis ball. So let's see, we've got some numbers. Let's see what we can do with that. We find that there are 271 kilocalories or food calories in a two ounce Snickers bar. And we find that a tennis ball weighs just about 57 grams. Uh, one regular calorie, not a kilo calorie, but a regular calorie, is equal to 4.2 joules. So let's see what we can do with this information. Well, the first thing that I want to do is turn my 271 calories into regular calories. So I remember my conversion, 271 kilocalories equals 270,000 energy calories. I'm going to turn that into a number that I can work with perhaps better. I'm going to call this 2.71 times 10 to the 5 calories. That makes sense, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my period. So we, here we have moved this into scientific notation. Uh, by doing some math, we see that 57 grams equals just about 2 ounces. So the mass of the Snickers bar and the mass of the tennis bar are the same. That's interesting, but it doesn't necessarily help us. I want to find out now how much energy in joules are in this number of calories in the Snickers bar. So I'm going to start with 2.71 times 10 to the 5 calories. And then I'm going to multiply by this conversion ratio that says 4.2 joules is equal to one calorie, one energy calorie. If you're unclear on how I set that up, make sure you read the learning moment on unit conversions. Uh, what we find then is that we end up with 1.14 times 10 to the 6, or just over 1 million joules. Uh, we can then use that information in this equation. We will want to know how f we want to, in this equation for kinetic energy, we want to find out the velocity of our tennis ball, right? So what we'll then do, before we plug in any numbers, the first thing we want to do is try to isolate that variable v. And what we find is that v is equal to the square root of 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass. Uh, by plugging in some numbers, let's do that now. So our velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times 2 point, oh, nope, sorry, 1.14 times 10 to the 6 joules. That was our kinetic energy. Divided by the mass, which actually works out to 0 0.056 kilograms. That's really close to our 57. And we find that the velocity would have to be 6,000 375.7 meters per second. Holy bananas. That works out to 14,262 miles per hour. That is one energetic tennis ball. So the rule, what's the takeaway from this? One any more than one Snickers per day and you're asking for trouble. In the notes section I encourage you to redo that work or maybe find something else. How, uh, how high could you bounce a basketball if you ate a plate of spaghetti? Something like this, right? Uh, so work through a problem that you think you've never considered before and then let me know what you found out.